gang, let's crack this open. Let's crack this open. You would have seen this comic book before, or these comic books before. Okay. As you know, uh, certain comic books, like people have asked me, Chicho, open it. I am excited here, man. As, as you know, I've been telling people that, uh, you know, if you like, you know, people ask me, you know, what should you collect? What do you, you know, what should you collect? What should you buy? What should you invest in? And I usually tell people is, look, if you're getting into comic books or anything, any type of investment, investing and stuff like this, do something that brings you joy, do something that you love, right? In terms of comic books, buy things that you love, collect things that you care about, that you think are important, okay? I'm going to change the blade on my X-Acto knife. Uh, I'm fine, Felix. I'm fine with losing the 300 uh, pounds, though. It is a fair bit of money for someone my age, but I have a summer job, so earning it back. And uh, Felix, don't consider it as just losing it. You're, you're learning investing. You're learning how to uh, play markets. It's, it's okay to do that, right? As the saying goes, you'll never learn how to play poker if you don't play for money, right? Uh, the best way to learn is is to do, right? So you're learning, right? And you're learning not only about the markets, you're learning about yourself, your behavior. What's your pain tolerance, right? That's one of the most important things you have to learn about investing. Um, what's your pain tolerance? When, at what point, have you had enough at one point do you, are you susceptible to being manipulated right and by the way there is the theory that it's okay to average cost down so if you bought at 60,000 right right now sitting at 30,000 32,000 let's say you round it up 60 you bought at 60,000 it's at 30,000 now if you think it's going to go up if you buy the equivalent amount, right? Not dollar value, just the equ equivalent number, or let's do equivalent amount, dollar value. If you buy, if you buy equivalent amount, you're in the plus. But let's assume you bought at sixty, and it's at thirty. If you buy at thirty, then your average cost is forty-five. So you just need it to go up to forty-five for you to break even, not sixty, right? And people do that, right? Not a bad idea. Uh, this is not financial advice. Chicho splurging. <laughs> I don't know if it's splurging. I'm investing, right? How did you lose the money? Uh, I says to Felix. Oh my God! I keep hold of my Bitcoin. I have quite a lot, but I don't react to crowd mentality. Yeah, that's a good idea. But it's never wrong to take profits off the table. Oh my God, this guy's like take take the crap out of this thing. <laughs> like, he's done a good job actually Wait, what? Huh? this is pretty good not bad I like it but it takes a little bit of there we go this side came off oh, he's got a little card there and let's put this side come off nice and then he's got the sticky and he put his name he said thanks so i ended up paying i ended up paying um all all in uh it was 45 dollars for four books and then 22 dollars canadian 45 dollars canadian for two books 22 dollars shipping so it came out to 67 dollars uh four to four books including shipping which is about you know fifty three dollars US fifty three dollars fifty four dollars US, okay. Chicho in Dingbower, I'm working as a marketing plant for this upcoming coin. For oh yeah, you you mentioned that, the, the, the finance, it plans to using a Python based development platform hire experienced developers to create an algorithm that algorithm that watch learn and predict the market automatically trading at the best times for you even uh when you see and here's the thing thing bobber there's programs out there already 
most of the most of the trades in the stock market and Wall Street are automated trades right people have stop losses this this and people have algorithms automated algorithm and they play different time frames we talked about this in our personal finance uh, live streams right where we talked about what is the time frame you have in mind there are there are algorithms out there that trade on a second basis right minute basis hourly basis on a daily basis on a weekly basis on a monthly basis on a yearly basis right so there's algorithms that do these trades i hope you guys have looked into those uh, the different types of algorithms available i'm gonna take more tape off this yeah blood says ding bobber sounds like some something someone has done already there are many who use many software such as this yeah big time big time they've been around for since the 1980s really uh da, 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 da. have tried this yeah many uh one of the we looked at one of the uh, hedge funds that had set that up and they were getting in when we're doing comparison between bitcoin and cpi and gold and real estate and stuff like this thank you for the cheers uh uh username punk i didn't catch it um thank you for the thank you for the cheers um, so this is sort of around you can always come up with a better system right Oof, finally all of them are out oh that's nice great i wasn't expecting it to be this nice but we're gonna have to crank it open let me show you uh gang uh lark park how are you doing hello chicho and everyone i'm gonna scroll down gang oh trust me chicho i know how to play the market i bought 15 pounds of dog coin when it was nice and sold at six pounds awesome profit a week later nice nice awesome uh, some may say if you waited two months you'd have that much but i reinvested that six into a papa pizza john's pizza i am a crypto extra trust me <laughs> awesome chicho teasing us with not showing us i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you okay i was scrolling down gang i was scrolling down user username puggers puggers how are you doing those are cute hearts by the way nice show love show love and thank you for redeeming 500 points and keep this in mind um uh, puggers uh you can save your points in september october october november november october november we're gonna do auction uh viewer appreciation to auction off some things you can redeem your points there right gang take a look at this and these were graded at near mint mint and in the pictures uh they didn't look as nice as this so i pulled the trigger it was fair value let me show you what they are they're issue number one to number four of 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 rachel rising <laughs> november 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 september october november 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 rachel rising okay and they're graded uh, the guy graded of a near mint mint so it's supposed to be very high grade uh let me take a look we're gonna crack this open we're gonna take a look remember remember the 5th of november that's a good way of remembering ronnie now let's check this out let's check this out and by the way gang this is in regards to investing in comic books or investing in anything right it my reply to people that say what type of comic books you want to buy what type of books you will invest in and stuff like this i invest and i buy things that i love and sometimes I buy things that I know they might be going up in price or I'm guessing they're going to go up in price and then sell or whatever it is. But in general, most of the things I put my money towards are things that I care about. And Rachel Rising, as far as I'm concerned, is an amazing, an amazing series. One of the most underrated, not underrated, people have read it, they just go, wow, amazing. But lesser known comic series. If this thing becomes well known, the price of this most likely will go up, right? so i'm slowly accumulating uh copies of this i don't know i think this is like the fourth or fifth copy 
I picked up right uh, ding Bao Chicho exactly but this is for altcoins which are extremely volatile yeah as I said I work for them I don't necessarily believe it will work I'm not even investing in the coin I hope it works though yeah that'd be awesome how about the uh, date George Bush senior died November 30th that'll be a celebration maybe maybe we do we do Rachel rising ah, I can't help but think of Rachel Meadows no this is Lark Bark this is definitely not Rachel Meadows Rachel Meadows can kiss my ass let's take a look at this let's see what the grade of this is okay we'll look at it together okay it, the guy graded a mint near mint mint right so it's giving it a 9.4 9.6 I'm ex I was expecting this to be around 9.2 right so let's take a look at this I'm going to change the angle and we see and what I'm going to do here let's bring let's bring this in here too Oop. let's bring our magnifying lens as well mark out how does that look okay hold on let me change this so you see what i'm doing Boink. lark bark rachel Miller can kiss my ass <laughs> allow <laughs> automat didn't like that come on stick to it ah oh, that should be good let's check it out let's check out the grade on this thing that we bought here we'll turn on the lights as well Ooh, bright oh this looks like a really good copy oh there's a little oh there's a little bit of take a look take a look oh oh was that in the picture maybe there's a little bit of scratch there so that gives it a but the spine is very nice it's got let's see let's see let's see yeah it's got a little ding there so i would definitely give this a 9.2 right maybe even a nine right let's see this is going to focus it's too right let me turn off the light let's see is it going to focus there we go hard to focus on black straight up right see that see there's a little dent on the spine seriously hard to focus on black eh there we go see that there's another one here see if we can show you that one see that one there reflection there's a little one there oh well, I should go slower let it focus not bad How do you prevent comics from getting them? You take care of them. Uh, Putin roaster. You put them in bags and boards and put them in boxes. And sometimes it, it just happens. They just get damaged. You know, sometimes they're not sitting nice and they get damaged. See that? little minor scratch on there and the color is affected with that it's not a big it's not a huge deal still looks pretty good 
How's this edge? A little, not as sharp, right? It's got a little dent on there. The slab of justice. Yeah, you can slab them and stuff. Right. So, doop, doop, doop. it's got little marks here, fingerprint marks here, right? Let's see if I can show it to you. So it's been handled. Let's see if it shows up. What kind of angle do we need? Light do we need? Oh, I just brushed it off, I think. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Near, near. A little bit, yeah, see that? A little bit of finger print marks there and there. But those can be wiped away, not a big deal. Right. And the back looks uh, really nice. Right. Let me turn this on. And the back looks really nice. So aside from this and this, those are the two places that there would be issues, right? A ah, little bit of there, a little bit there. See that? See that? A little bit there on the nose, right? A little dent. Okay. And there is that. So it probably went like that. Uh, so I would give this a nine. Give it a grade of nine, right? Being generous would give it a 9.2, but I would say nine to be on the safe side. And I wasn't really expecting too much more, right? The guy graded it near mint mint, but it's definitely not near mint mint. And you can see that from the pictures. So, uh, and the number two looks better than the number one. And number, here's cover of number two, right? Here's a cover of number three. Okay. And here's a cover of number four. If I can afford it in the future, I'll try to get my hands on a slab grade 9.4 or 9.6 or something, but I'm good with this. Fair value that we ended up paying for this. Uh, that's why I consider it to be, and I and I realized it was going to be fair value when uh, I ended up buying it. Okay, it was for auction, and no one else bid on it, right? I one of the reasons I bought it is because it's hard to find the raw copies that are based in Canada, and a lot of people in the United States are going through eBay shipping program, so the shipping costs a ridiculous amount of money. Good charge of duty, do, do go over there, go over there, forget about it, right? So buy. It from a Canadian seller and uh, pay uh, just regular Canadian. The shipping was on the expensive side, but it's simpler, right? 